Hey guys, my name is Stefan. And I'm Amy. And we are the Cabin of Courage. It is super windy and very overcast, but we're moving on, so I wanted to show you guys this place anyway. So this is a Mayfield camping ground, and it is right by the beach. It's usually a lot nicer and sunnier. Well, it was when we rocked up here, we'd like look out the window and just see ocean and just mountains in the background. Like, look at that. Beautiful. It was a little tricky getting here in the way that it's not level land. Like, we needed levelers, and like, look at this. Like, that is, that is frankly ridiculous. It's actually fairly stable though. Like, is super stable. So stable. It was very hard getting the bike off though. My god. Incredibly tricky. I had to like, I could lift it off, but getting it on was even harder. My god. We're uh, gonna give this thing a crack. There's an island just up there that looks like you may be able to get to, possibly via land or possibly not. The tide is crazy out now. They said last time she walked along here, she was like above the seaweed, which you can see it definitely does get that high. So uh, we might be able to make it. I'm not really sure though. By by a satellite, it doesn't look like it's really that doable, but we'll see. See you there if we make it. If not, then I guess you'll never see this video. I'm not gonna lie, the closer we get, the more possible it looks. Island possibility. I'm thinking so. Still a long way to go though. Okay, low tide possible, high tide definitely not. It's literally just like this little bit here that doesn't have water. And it has a bit of water. And it is very low tide. So this is all totally usually under. For sure. Yeah, don't we take too long, it looks like. I'd like to say barefoot, but I don't know about that. I think they were barefooted. I mean, I guess it's not an island then, is it? Oh, we're gonna have to wait for it to become an island, otherwise we can't say we're on an island. It's even seaweed there, like growing. We made it! Woo! It is definitely underwater usually though, this bit. Look at that, it's all like seaweed actually growing. I saw a few little crabs and stuff. I got old. Nah. We have a quick explore around and we head back to the side gets us. There's actually loads of penguin enclosures around here, like one over there, one over there, another one here, another one over there, another one over there. There's loads. Let's see how many penguins are in this one. Oh, oh, there's a couple in there. Concerned they look. Oh, is that a baby? Can't tell my sunglasses on. No, they're not babies. Hey guys. How you doing? You sleep well. You definitely get that spider sometimes. I mean, Jesus Christ, look at those spiders. Time to head back. It's been a cool island. Totally worth it. What do you reckon, Nate? Worth it? Yeah. It's always worth exploring a little bit, even if it feels like you probably shouldn't, or you can't, or it's damn right dangerous and goes nowhere. Oh, this guy's got the king palace. I mean, just look at it. You just know that he's the top chief. Move to chief enchilada. Always worth a bit of explore though. Oh, it's a beach. It's probably a beach at uh, certain times. So I'm guessing if you come here, Right before night time, which would be kind of dodgy because of the considerable water height change. You'll probably see the penguins coming in. I'll, um, I'll put a link to where this is on the map. And uh, yeah, you know what? I'll put it for the longitude and latitude right here. Alright, hope you got that. See you guys. Walking the long way back from the island, and we saw some pretty awesome shells. And check out this one, it is very beautiful. It has like a bunch of different colors in it. And it is going to live on a guard dog Cornel's neck for the rest of his natural born life. 
It's really weird being at a beach and being surrounded by mountains. It's just like mountains as far as the eye can see. A little island we're on. Mountain, 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 mountain. The whole way. Crazy stuff. Check this place out. They have a beautiful view. Not really sure if this is like a hotel or what this place is. Because it's like... It was just like a road that went here and then it said the RHR sign. There's just continual signs the whole way for this place. I think it's this place. And then it's just, yeah, this. I'm not really too sure if it's like a retreat. Oh, there's some bags. Yeah, there probably is. And a bottle of wine. Yeah, there must be people staying here. It must just be like a little retreat. Oh God, it's beautiful. Bloody beautiful. This is a full on like glass house. Alright, uh, let's head off. Hey guys, so we're at Tribuna. It's uh, the next place we're at from Mayfield. So, um, and this place has a post office. Finally a little bit of a, as you can probably see, a little bit of a, a civilization around. So there's a post office and we got some, like a new inverter sent to the post office. And this is it. So it's finally arrived. And just looking at it, so it's, it was about $400. This one was about $300. This is the old one. And um, they're both 3,000 watt, 6,000 peak, 3,000 watt, 6,000 peak. But first, just you can tell the difference with the size difference. It is obviously considerably better. This is the one that's been running the caravan since this one broke. And might I say, so this one, fairly light. This one, fairly light. Actually, this one's probably like maybe 200 grams heavier than this one. And then this one, I can't physically pick it up with one hand. <laughs> Maybe from the side. Oh, so much heavier, unbelievably heavier. So I've, I've talked to some people online before making my decision on this and apparently people have had these running for like 10 years and stuff and it was only 400 bucks so saves a lot more than getting the you know $1,800 ones. Anyway, just wanted an update and tomorrow, no, on Sunday we're going on a boat that goes where, Ney? Mariah Island. Mariah Island. And we're gonna try and take the bike because um, that would be awesome, that would be so awesome. But um, yeah, they said that apparently any bicycle that's over 15 kilos is seen as like another bike. So we're saying it's two bikes, even though it's 50 kilos, she said that's okay. So um, we're saying it's two bikes and then hopefully they give us the okay because obviously it's like, it's an electric bike, electric motorcycle, it's right on the cusp sort of thing. And you're obviously not allowed to bring vehicles over there, but it's a bike and it's electric, it's not obviously gonna cause fires or anything. So, um, fingers crossed. Hopefully they'll be okay with it and we can just bring it straight across. See you guys on Mariah Island. Hell yeah, hopefully we make it. Hey, check it out guys. We were at Three Thumbs Lookout, <laughs> or Mountain. And uh, oh, there it is, Three Thumbs State Reserve. And this is Mariah Island. This is where we're going tomorrow. Pretty damn keen for it. Hopefully we can bring the sun on. But uh, either way, we will see you there. Yeah, making that bike look real heavy. Oh, hanging over the water. So there's a guy that owned a bike store on the island, and he was a bit, mm, I don't know, that's kind of a motorbike, but um, he seemed alright at the end. He's like, as long as it doesn't cause any trouble. But uh, yeah, got it on, and it seems to be everyone's, and there was a lot of interest. People were like, oh man, how do I get one of those? So um, I think they, uh, they definitely like it, but check this place out, it's beautiful. So like unkept and wild. I love it. There's so many animals around as well. Absolutely heaps. Seen loads of little jumpers. And uh, apparently there's a lot of wombats around too. So we'll uh, we'll see if I can find some wombats. Give them a good pat. 
I'm pretty keen. This place is cool. I'm so glad we got to bring the bike. It's going to open up so much stuff for us. We can see, I reckon we could probably see the most of the island in a day. No more landslides, hopefully. Damn, stunning. Look at all this wombat poo. There's clearly a massive amount of wombats around, but we haven't seen one yet. So keen. Check out this little ruined area. Apparently there used to be an engine house of some sort. They even use the word ruins. Check it out. Ruins. We're not going to climb it, so we'll be keeping off, but I'm definitely going to go in it because I mean, look at that. It's a door that's semi open. I would say it's a jarred. Oh, that's it. Whoa. What are those insects in the corner? Oh, they're all bugs calling webs. That's insane. That's a little disappointing. I kind of thought I'd be able to go in some sort of magical kiln. Man, I just can't get over these cliffs. They're outstandingly unstable looking. I really wish I could bring the drone, but obviously National Park also riding. I never feel comfortable bringing it while I'm riding because of the uh, sketchiness of riding. So funnily enough, the guy that um was a bit like, mm, I don't know about riding the bike. He's actually bought a bike, <laughs> one of these Serons, and that's him riding on it right now. Let's give him a bit of a test. Oh, so with that guy, so um, first he's a bit like, oh, I don't know, are you sure you're allowed to bring this over here? You better check with the rangers and all that. So we're a bit like, oh, I don't know, he seems a bit pissed off about it. And then, um, yeah, we went back past, he's like, can I actually take a photo? And I'm like, uh, yeah, sure, I guess. And he's like, I've actually just ordered one. So he's, he's just ordered one of these. And, uh, yeah, do this way. And, um, yeah, so he ordered one, and he's gonna go to Melbourne to pick it up in, like, what was it, a week or so, or? Something like that, because he wants... End of Feb. End of Feb, that's right. Because he, he wants one for the island, to, like, do rescues and stuff. I don't know. But, um, yeah, he, he loved it. <laughs> I gave him a shot, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, I thought he was a, a, a grumpy dude, but really he was... He just didn't want me to ruin it for him later, but I'm obviously going to be nice and friendly. This is a painted cliff, and uh, it's high tide, so we can't quite get the view that we bargained for, but I reckon we'll get a pretty good one nonetheless. Alright, this is painted cliff. Check it out guys, painted cliffs and aren't they beautiful? Goddamn stunning. You can see a surprising amount considering it's a uh, high tide. But even on the lower bits, like, they still have all this beautiful patterns. We're still hanging out to see the wombats, and they just told me they got long hair and pink noses. And um, on the trail, I like was riding along, and was like, oh my god, is that a carrot? So I found some carrot, and if I see a... Uh, a wombat. You gonna have some carrot. Apparently rare on Mariah Island. Like it's a breed on this island. So fingers crossed we'll see one and I'll get to pat its long hair. Possibly give it some kind of like hair makeover. Oh, did you bring your did you bring your your comb? No. Okay. Imagine combing it. He'd be like mm -hmm. he might even purr. I don't I don't really know but we'll find out. So we made it to one half of the island. We're on the peak now or kind of the peak. Either way the best point to see the other half of the island which, um, to get along, you actually have to ride along sand. Apparently it's like a six hour ride or something like that. Or something like that. It's, um, so you've got to ride along sand the whole way there. All the way to the end. So, um, I'm on 63% battery. And I want to try and get to that mountain up there. So, um, we'll see. But that's the, uh, that's the other side. And this is the peak. 
stopping for a little bit of lunch and uh, I still really want to get to Mount Darlington, was it? Mount Moriah. Mount Moriah. Mount Mar Moriah. I got Darlington on the mind. But, um, which is probably the one, I don't know if you can see it really, but it's the one behind. And um, apparently it's a six to eight hour walk. From Darlington. From Darlington. So I don't know if the bike will make it. Obviously it's like 60% now or lower. But um, this, is the, this is the beach that you can ride the whole way along. It's actually not too bad sand. It's pretty, um, it's pretty hard. Ride along the beach. Oh, there's a track? I thought you said we had to. Alright, well then I wouldn't take it as long. Oh, it's just a sandy track, not a beach ride. But the beach isn't too bad. Relatively, relatively hard. So it's possible, but it'll drink all the battery again the whole way around. And then all the way back. So I want to try that mountain. The mountain all the way. So hopefully see you there, but possibly not. Because we're definitely going to have to hike a bit as well as ride a bit. We'll ride as far as we can and then hike the rest. And then hopefully roll back to the thing. Because we've got three hours before we have to catch the boat back anyway. So not a lot of, not a lot of time, but we'll see if we can cram it all in. See you there. This is the wool shed, complete with pitchforks, beer bottles, bones, an old noose. I mean, they have everything you could ever want here. Oh, they've even got a stripper pole, look at that. Jesus. What do you think, man? Five class hotel? I would pay to be here. Even a little bit of buckshot on the walls. Check out the attitude of this tree. Its bark is amazing, absolutely incredible. Look at it. Crazy Prettier than the painted rocks, I reckon. It's the wood version of it, I guess. It got two charging for the bike, so we're walking it. There's no way I'd get the bike up this. And um, yeah, we're walking it up, and hopefully we can make it to the top before we have to be back on the uh, the boat, because um, we're supposed to be back at 3:30, and it's 1:30 and the bike has like 20% battery. <laughs> so I'm kind of pretty close and we'll see how it goes. Look at that, it's built up around the tree thing. That's pretty cool. Ooh, possible shortcut. <laughs> oh no, it's just a path. Anyway, see you guys when we get to the top. In probably half an hour or so, hopefully. Fingers crossed. See you then. Gotta love the path, they have a little bit of everything. It's got like pushing through bushes and ferns to like rock climbing and Dodgy ass ground. Oh my god! What keeps going? Woo! Shit just got real. Day 78 on this hike. This just keeps getting steeper and steeper. Oh my god. You can do it, I believe in you. Get up there. You can't see anything, so you don't even know if it's going to be good view. Yeah, if we get to the top and it's like, welcome to the mountain, and it's just trees all around, and zero view, I'm going to be pretty, pretty pissed. I'm just going to just roll all the way back down. Look at this family of skinks. Hey guys, what's going on? So fat. Could really have a pretty good life. I don't even know how this is a parking lot. I mean, it kind of is and kind of isn't, eh? It has definitely gotten significantly harder. But I can see where the view's coming from. We're not too far from it now. There's so many of these things, look at them all. They're everywhere. Oh. Yeah, about 200 meters. 200. It's not too shabby. And then, uh. An hour and a half to get back to the boat. Yeah, then an hour and a half to get back. So we're gonna have to run back across these rocks pretty quick. It's not Yeah, it's not a lot, not a lot of time actually. We're probably cutting it a bit close. But, you know, it is what it is, and um, we really want to see the top of this mountain. We put pretty close, I reckon. I yeah, yeah, I'll just take the bit more country paths, if you know what I'm saying. Whoa, look at the side of this one. Jesus, a full on lizard. Come on, they keep coming. coming. She's like, oh my god, so exhausting. It's more than rough. Yeah, I should not have worn jeans. I think I say that very frequently because I always like, oh yeah, I'm riding, I should wear jeans. And then like, there's a few branches and like, what? Jelly legs. Jelly legs. And then you can kind of hike over all those freaking rocks. Never make jelly and then inject it into your legs, guys. It's just <laughs> jelly legs isn't good. All right, see you guys when we get to the top. This is the view from here though. <laughs> it's nice, but we're not there yet. Want to tick that milestone off? You know what I'm saying? See you guys, hopefully at the top, we can make it in time. 
at least we can see a long way now. But uh, it's just massive rocks. This is absolutely ridiculous. You can sort of see the path with the arrows. Oh yeah, it totally is like waterfallish. I mean, like the view is getting there for sure. That is stunning. It sucks, it sucks that you can't bring drones here, like legally wise. Right, oh well. See you at the top. If we can't forget that. Have you guys made it to the top? Oh, you're still going up? Shit! I thought you guys were coming down. Oh my god, no. I can't believe we caught up to them. That's what I've been telling her the whole time, but <laughs> just keeps going. Oh, there they are. Oh, wow, they're almost there. It's okay. Damn Mad skills. Terrible. Oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Quite far away the mainland. <laughs> Not quite. Ah. Almost there. <laughs> Can do it. Oh, my boat is happening now. <laughs> We're gonna have fun. Oh, we made it. We made it. <gasps> Woo! High fives all round. Oh, yes. Yes. Yay! Oh, oh man. <sighs> See you guys up on the tippity top. I love to be on the tippity top. Made to the tippity top, Mount Moriah. Was it like 800 meters this mountain there? Yeah. 800 meters. Sorry, See you guys when we get to the bottom. Hopefully, we can make it. Heading back now to the boat. We've got approximately 10 minutes. Perfectly parked for eternity. We made it down the mountain. Now we're flying. What are you on the top? Oh, You guys flagged us down and told us the boat leaves at 4, not 3.30. Check them out. Do you think, have you tried stroking them? I don't even get real like, I'm going to try and feed him some carrot. That was a carrot little fella. I told you they're grain fairy. They are grain fairy. Some carrot? <laughs> So adorable. You want some carrot? Mm -hmm. God, he's so chill. Then you can stroke him. Oh, you can. You guys want to stroke him? He's super chill. Some carrot, little fella. Oh, he's so furry. <laughs> Look at his hair, he must use Pantene. He must use Pantene. He's like, hmm, carrot. We, we um, talked to a local and she was like, he wants some colour them. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, we should be able to buy them. Oh, you like that, don't you? I can't believe how chill they are. Can you scratch under his belly, do you reckon? Or is that going too far? <laughs> Oh, 
adorable. You're right, they do have really long fur. Can you just drag it through? didn't even want the carrot. <laughs> have you seen this delicious grass? Yeah. I'm just here, chilling with my mate, the bat. We call him the bat for short, Mr. Wom Wom. I guess I'll catch you later, buddy. It's nice knowing you. I'll see you back home. All right, let's go home. I have walked 10,000 miles and I will walk 10,000 more to be that wombat that walked 10,000. I don't know what it is. Look at him go. Go, little fella. You've got this. Baby one. <laughs> Look at this guy. God, you are adorable. So fluffy. Mm, get a good look in there. So we met some nice people over at the island, and um, I think we're gonna have dinner with them. I think so. Uh, one of those fish basket thingies. You came fish, man. fish man. Van. Van. But what's the thing we're having? Fisherman's basket. Fishman's yep. still in Pretty keen. I think so. I think so. We'll just suss it out and see how we go. We even bring our own tartare sauce to save us a bit of dollar. And also, so we have as much tartare sauce as we want. See you guys over there. I tried to record a little bit, but I don't want to be too rude. So, uh, you know, well, I'll show you what I can. Check it out, guys. This is the seafood basket. Look at it in its amazingness. Oh my god. And these are the new friends we met. It's, uh, oh god. Pretty Carl. <laughs> 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 I'll do my best. Hello. That's Hello. pretty good. What was it, Flavia? It's Carl. Carl. Oh man. <laughs> and we brought our own tartar. Hells yeah. We got given it. I oh, know, I didn't expect that. So uh, yeah, this is the meal. Pretty damn delish. Hey guys, hope you liked the video. We are heading to Port Arthur now, and I think we might be meeting back up with those guys at some point. And um, there's loads of hikes and stuff to do here, lots of interesting stuff. Catch you guys in the next one!